There's an old guy walking by. I didn't want to disturb him with my loud voice. Um, <clears throat> wow, dude, shakes are so much better. Things are so much better when you don't have them in a while. I remember like eating or doing the shake like every day for like four days in a row. It's not as good. I haven't had one in like a week and it's so good. It's so much better. It's crazy. You don't really realize it until you stop. That's the thing about food, man. I don't think people get that. People don't realize that. If you don't have something in a long time, it's so much better, you know? But if you just do it every day, it's pretty much everything. Like, when I do comedy, it's like, if I do it, like, for me, personally, it might not be as good. But for other people, it might be good because I'm so worked up. So to them, it's different. It's weird. You gotta take a break, you know? Even with people. Like, if you're married to someone, you know, and be around them all the time, all the time. How many years of that until you're just like, hey, okay, let's let's spend some time. Like, you can go in the other room for a while, okay? You know, have you in doses, you know? Take you like a vitamin. That, that's my new hit single. I'll take you like a vitamin. Like the McDonald's shake. It's got nutrients. Could I be an 80s singer? Definitely. I am. I'm an 80s singer in 2023. Should you blame people for the way they look? Can girls be creepy? Yes. They can. They can be creepy. Girls can be creepy. But I don't really like to do the whole creepy thing. But I guess it's just reality. You know? People have tried to call me creepy before. And I'm like, no. Dude. Shut up. Get out of here. I'm not creepy. I'm not creeping on anybody. Creepy. Creepy. That's not me. That's not me. You know, as soon as someone says that's not them, that's them. Yep, that's me. That's me. I'm creeping on everybody. No, I just, um, I guess maybe it's not good to talk about people. I feel like you're cursed. You say something bad about someone, I feel like you're cursed, you know, you you said something bad about them. They represent a legacy and a lineage of their own flavor, their own blood drop, but their own genetic strand of alpha DNA. And you insulted them. People go way too fast to the parking lot sometimes. I swear, man. Like, sometimes I go through a parking lot and I, and it's, I mean, it's pretty easy to stop in a parking lot. So most of the time you can stop, but it's almost like the person blames me or something. Sometimes when I kind of, we kind of, come around a corner and you kind of don't see him and you have, that someone has to stop and let the other person go but but I mean like they blame me when they're the ones going like 20 miles per hour through a parking lot it's like dude do you really need to go through that fast there's people walking here then again who cares just play the parking lot like Grand Theft Auto and just hit all the pedestrians Oh. so anyways I'm probably going to go play some Rocket League, which is weird. You know, when I was like 16 years old, I knew a guy who would play Rocket League. It was like the early version of Rocket League. I don't even remember what it was called. Um, it was like Super Rocket Cars or something. I don't I don't even know if it how much different it was. But it's like the same thing, you know? They shortened the name and stuff, but it, it was basically the same game. I'm not sure how good it was back then, but... That game's been around forever. And um, I have no interest in that game whatsoever. It's crazy. It's crazy. I had no interest. And now that I'm older, I'm like, see, that's... Actually, you know, the guy that I was watching playing it was actually a weed dealer. He was selling me weed. So, apparently superior people play it. Because, you know, a dealer is a superior person. If you can pull that off. I'm just going to be honest. I've sold weed before. But just because I said it doesn't mean you can prove it, you know? Just because I said it. I'm, this is an act. This isn't real, okay? People make up stories and comedy all the time because they have to. Because their real life is so boring. You have to come up with something, you know? Just imagine if you come up with, like, the funniest story ever and convince people it was real, but it wasn't. And it was just one big lie. Like, come on, man. People do it all the time. 
I mean, if you're, especially if you're going to make money from it, like, hey, get some in, someone in on this. We'll split. You know, I'll give you a 50 stack. Boom. No big deal. Paid for your lies. Paid liar. Lawyers lie all the time. You know? They have one job. You give them money, they make you an innocent man. Doesn't work all the time, though. Just like comedy doesn't work. All I try to be truthful, though. But, see, I've done so much truthful stuff that it gets to the point where it's like, dude, just, just like, make stuff up. It doesn't even matter. You're just trying to get people to laugh. Like, if that's the goal, right, then does it really matter if I lie? Because I'm not, you're not actually technically lying if it's in the right context. I don't like cutting context. I don't ever use context. But <clears throat> I feel a little bit recharged today. This is the second time I wore this shirt on camera, I think, and um, I'm feeling good. I think it's finally summer. Like, it's pretty much here, you know, which is cool. But also, I took, I got some vitamin D supplements so I can take to make sure that my bone density doesn't go down. Because I'm going to need a big boner if I'm going to be making videos, you know what I mean? <sighs> your bone density, that includes your boner. Just saying. If you want a strong, sturdy, stiff, you want a real stiffy, then you take that vitamin D for your D. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Maybe that's why you have a small dick. You just never took enough vitamin D. See? That was the gimmick. That was the thing. That's, that's what healthy dicks do. Is take vitamin D to make that boner stronger. Make that bone stronger. Take vitamin D. Are you starving yourself of that vitamin D? Make your bone stronger. Make your bone stronger. Make your bone stronger. Get that vitamin D. Get that vitamin D. Make that bone stronger. Old, old people are starting to look at me now. But it's none of their business. But I'm performing. And it's very intense. It's hard not to look at me, you know? <clears throat> so what's up with all the old people in the McDonald's? Like every morning they cultivate there. It's weird. You know, I normally don't even go in. But it is a ple it is it actually is pretty pleasant there. You gotta admit, it is pretty alright. I don't think anyone's ever been shot at McDonald's, have they? I mean, now that I said it, they probably will happen. But... Anyways, uh, what is up with that? It's just a feel-good place. We love to see you smile. I think maybe that's a lie. I think it's maybe. We love to come here and get paid. But we have to because we work at McDonald's. I think I screwed up my parking job here. This guy's mad. I parked a little bit too forward here. That's okay. He didn't care. He just rocking, rocking. But yeah, should you judge people for the way they look when they can't really help the way they look? I don't think so. Just let people look the way they look. But sometimes, maybe they are a creepy weirdo serial killer. You know, that's pissed off because they didn't get laid or, you know, they, they're not the cool kid. If you think about it, it's a constant high school click that you're stuck in if you're going to be mad about something like that. Because you're mad about something in your life. You're mad because you're rejected. You're mad because you didn't get accepted. You're mad because you're stupid, whatever. And it's like, well, that's only like all the cool kids are smart and good looking and blah, 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 blah. You know, like, God, do you really need to be so pissed off? God, because you're not in the right click. I got over it a long time. I'm like, okay, I can see through. This is basically psychology and groups and popularity. And, you know, it's, it's pretty... Like, to really get wrapped up in that and feel bad about it and angry and, like, go in McDonald's and start throwing trays around and punching old people in the face because whatever, you're mad at some weird thing. You're mad. You're mad. Fuck. Calm down. No, but people are mad. It's okay to be mad. I don't like to shame mad people either because sometimes people are mad because they're mad. They're just mad. They got a good reason to be mad. You know, you need to be mad. Sometimes you got to be mad in the right way. Just think about this. If someone punched someone in the face, maybe that's better than them shooting them. You know what I mean? Like, if I got punched in the face, right? It, it just happened, you know? It just happened. Like, someone just punched me, right? 
And, and maybe it wasn't, you know, it might have got a black eye or something, but hey, that could be healed with time. You know, gunshot wounds are pissing foons. I don't even know. I tried to rhyme it. Gunshot wounds are for the goons. Ain't I gun violence today? <clears throat> don't shoot your neighbor. Shoot yourself. Okay, sorry. I was trying to do a fictional slogan. Fictional slogan. If I put it in a cartoon, it would have been fine. Oh, it's a cartoon. It's fictional. Everyone knows it's fine. It's in a cartoon. Yeah. Ha ha ha. Cartoon. It's not real. Just little stupid drawings. But you wouldn't call me a little stupid drawing. Look at me. Do I look like a little stupid drawing to you? Is that what I am? A little stupid drawing? You just raffle ticket this guy on your phone and there he is. It's a useless bingo game you're playing. Bingo. Well, bingo, I gotta go. Bingo, I gotta go. Bingo, I gotta go. I'm out of here. Have a nice day. We love to see you smile. That's the old McDonald's slogan. Now it's bop, 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 well, anyways, I'm out of here. Thanks, college kids, for the, the lunch. Or kids that are going to work here the rest of their life because they're not smart enough to go to college. Or dedicated. Drinking too much beer. That party life will get you. But it will make you cool. If you potty, then you're popular and cool. You want to be cool? Come over here and be cool. McDonald's. Partying at McDonald's. Woo! Okay, I'm out of here. <laughs>